Tonight, we are learning about a dramatic increase in pills containing fentanyl. According to a study founded, funded by the National Institute on Drug Abuse, law enforcement seizures increased nearly 50-fold from 2018 to 2021. This comes as Florida's attorney general has warned of a new and more potent drug on the streets. It's called isotonidazine, or ISO. It's a deadly synthetic opioid. This, that's according to officials. Now, we wanted to get a sharper insight about just how common ISO is. According to Fo Fo Florida Poison Control, in the past five years, they've had about two calls for ISO. Both happened in 2022. The Hillsborough and Pinellas County Medical Examiner, Examiner offices, they tell us that no deaths have been attributed specifically to isotonidazine. So, why the alarm? Well, we spoke to the director of the Pinellas County Forensic Lab. She says the numbers are misleading because ISO is the street name for a class of drugs known as nitazines. And you're taking a picture right here of a sample containing some of those nitazines, imperilidino etanidazine, as well as another drug, metanidazine. Both of these are more potent, more deadly than fentanyl. This is new. These nitazines are new and they're creeping up quickly, um, and they're a huge concern, and they are causing deaths. And by the end of the year, we're going to have a whole lot of deaths attributed to them. She says this year, they have five confirmed deaths from drugs in the category of nidazines and roughly five more pending. She says currently, most of the overdose deaths are fentanyl or fentanyl-related. 